Now we need to inject the HTTP client in our service. And in our case, we have a user service. And the assumption here is that this user service is going to be manipulating data relating to user or users. So the first thing we have to do is to import the HTTP client. So we have to add an import statement in our class so that we can import this HTTP client. And as you can see, it's coming from the same library. So at angular common slash HTTP, that's the same library as the HTTP client module. And then once we have that, we need to inject it in the class. And the way we do this is by passing a private parameter into the constructor and the class. So as you can see, we pass in this private HTTP and we give it a type of the HTTP client that we just imported. What we're really doing is passing in this HTTP as a member of the class. So as a member of the user service class. And what that means is that we'll be able to use this HTTP anywhere in the class by using the this keyword to refer to it since once we inject it that way, it becomes a member of the user service class. And that's just how you do dependency injection in Angular. So let's go ahead and give this a try. 